on Carolina Women with our friend Kathy Ulmer, and we're talking about all things really interesting. Again, we told you today that our general manager, Jess, is doing all the taping, mm -hmm. and so we've just spent the past 15 minutes really talking about some interesting things that we think you, the viewers, are really interested yeah. That we didn't about. know. We didn't know either. Yeah. We were really talking about um, how you choose your pharmacy mm -hmm. and how insurance plays a role well, in yeah. how you choose your pharmacy. Yes. Yeah, so um, I get, you know, every year you get enrolled most likely in a new insurance plan. So it's really important that you know what you're signing up for. Like there's a couple of things. There's prescription insurance and there's medical insurance. And okay. usually they'll send you two different cards or sometimes the information will be all on the same card. So it's super important that you take that card out okay. and you really review what that card says. Take it out. I did. <laughs> <laughs> so on the card, there's always going to be um, information, um, medical information, and or your prescription information. <laughs> so if there isn't anything on that card that says anything, so on this card, which I'm not want to show it, but is on it this on this side, it says what the insurance is. But down here, there's prescription information. It says RX bin number. Mm -hmm. okay. So if you see RX on your card, that means that there's prescription benefits attached to that card. Okay. If you don't see prescription benefits on that card, then you probably are going to need to look for another card that says RX on it. Okay. So sometimes, like, so a lot of people with Blue Cross Blue Shield will have a company like CVS Caremark as the prescription benefits man Wait a manager. Minute. Is that CVS like the CVS? Pharmacy? It's not like CVS like CVS Pharmacy. So CVS Caremark is a prescription benefits manager. So they manage your prescription benefits, hmm. but CVS is a pharmacy. So they're two different entities. Seems confusing. It is really confusing. Sounds so when some people get their card and see on the very bottom, it says CVS Caremark and they think, okay, well I have to go to CVS because it, it says CVS on it. That's not true. Okay. In South Carolina, it's a right to choose state. What does that mean? It just means that like, they can't tell you that you have to go to any specific pharmacy. So they, you can call around, you can price you can things call out, around. you can yes. use your favorite mm -hmm. pharmacy. Yep. Every, like so as long as there's the pharmacy that you choose is contracted with your insurance company, which most in pharmacies, even my pharmacy contracts with almost every insurance company, mm -hmm. um, then you can go to that pharmacy and you can choose to go to that pharmacy. There's different things that the insurance company does to encourage you to go to certain pharmacies like uh, in-network versus out-of-network and then preferred versus non-preferred and things like maybe pricing changes. But even if it's not a preferred pharmacy, and this is a real big misnomer, mm -hmm. is that, and I don't know if I used the right word there, mm -hmm. is that um, if preferred pharmacy is going to be lower costs. It's not always true. Okay. If it's That's a cost-sharing a insurance, then it may be cheaper to go to another pharmacy. It's just kind of a contracting issue. So it's super important to, to think know more about your health care. If you want to go to a pharmacy right. because you're going to get good health care there, at least approach that pharmacy. Ask questions. Ask questions. Ask Become if you can informed. go there. And then, and then in the end of some where the pharmacy says, no, your insurance said that you have to go to X, Y, or Z or mail order, say, Wait a minute. I live in a right to choose <laughs> state. So yes. maybe I should call my insurance company and ask them how to get that block taken off. How That's such good information. How are insurance companies chosen? Do, do, because I know at 68, I'm on Medicare. So Medicare has like a whole plethora. It's, it's, it, 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 it's become completely like um, independently or, you know, subcontracted Got out. It. So there's like, I think 60 different prescription plans in South Carolina alone. Mm -hmm. So you have to choose from those 60 plans. So if every year you're not sitting down on Medicare.gov or at our pharmacy we do free consultations and, and going over your medications, putting them into the, their system and saying which plan is the most cost effective for me, yeah. you're just doing yourself a so, disservice. So this wow. is what I say every single time you come on, every, every single, single time <laughs> you come on is the best part mm -hmm. of having you on here. And actually the pharmacy is the ability to connect and have a she relationship. She takes the time to educate us yes. on what is happening so I that try. we get the best outcome. It takes a lot of time, you know, and mm -hmm. like when people come in and they're like, I don't understand why does my prescription cost this much? You know, I'll, I'll, I'll explain everything that I can from the information I'm given, and then I say, but don't pay for it yet. Go home, call your insurance company, ask them why it costs this much. You know, Correct. Kathy, you're an advocate. Exactly. We love Thank you. you. I try. Very much for it's hard to explain insurance. Exactly. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us. Stay with us. There's a lot more to come. And can you look at this rag? <laughs>